Welcome to the Thursday edition of the Spark Creativity Teacher Podcast, a podcast for English teachers in search of creative teaching strategies. Whether you're new around here or a longtime listener, I'm so glad you're joining me for today's edition of Highly Recommended. This week, I want to share a productivity tip that has changed my life in ways large and small. I hope it will make an impact for you too. So today's episode is going to start with a story. Three years ago, you know, we were all in the heart of a pandemic. My kids were quite young, five and eight. My mom was quite sick. There was a lot of pressure on our family, as there was on pretty much every family. I've been sharing teaching ideas on this podcast and by email for a long time. And it was clear that in the thick of this pandemic, my teacher's needed more from me than a few ideas a week, especially given what they were being asked to do, radically change their curriculum to an online or hybrid format with almost no training and almost no preparation. So it was around this time that I took a course with a guy named James Wedmore that was meant to teach me more about being effective and sharing my ideas online. And it was a huge course and it, it, took a long time to go through, but it was really one tiny, tiny part of that huge course that changed a lot in my life. It was the idea, a simple idea maybe, (laughs) that anything can be completed if you break it down to its smallest parts, tiny little steps, and then actually schedule them into your calendar. It sounds so simple, right? <laughs> but but it was it was really life-changing for me given the situation that I was in, given how hard I was finding it to take on a big new project with my kids at home, the pandemic all around me. But I decided to try the process with opening my teacher membership, which is now the lighthouse, now one of my favorite parts of my work. I just love it. So I wrote down all the tasks starting from the tiniest. The very first task I chose was to choose a name for my teacher membership. That that was the only task on my list for that day. And I scheduled them out, choose a name, day one, and so on. Little by little, day by day, I got to all the tasks on the list. I was able to start and complete the biggest work project of my life while homeschooling both my kids and still doing all of the work things that I was doing before when my kids were going to school. So that's a long story, I know. But for me, it shows the power of this idea that you take a big project, a big dream, an intimidating thing that you feel like you never have time for, and you break it down, you chunk it, you schedule it, you take those little steps, you write them down, the first one Monday, the second one Tuesday, and so on, and then you do it. (laughs) So what is it that you do not have time for? The thing that you're really wishing you could fit into your life. It could be something really huge, like getting your master's degree or a PhD. It could be something that feels huge in your work right now, like planning an incredible unit on Jason Reynolds' long way down or applying to present at a national conference. Maybe it's something personal like running a 10K or learning how to frost the most beautiful cakes in your city. (laughs) I don't know what it is, right? Everybody's dreams, everybody's goals and projects are different. But everybody, I believe now, can, can try this idea of breaking down a project into its tiniest moving pieces. If you know you have five or 10 minutes only, that is absolutely it. Make them in five or 10 minute installments. If you know you can maybe fit in 20 minutes, make them slightly bigger. My steps were very small on this project and it it worked. <laughs> they added up. I wrote them in my planner and I did them. I suggest making these steps the first thing you do on these days when you schedule them instead of the last. Don't make it the maybe thing that's like the 50th thing on your list if you get to it. I honestly think that you'll be amazed at what you can accomplish once that dream project becomes a series of tiny, manageable tasks. It was honestly amazing for me. I was able to accomplish a task I found super intimidating during a time in my life when I was unexpectedly busier than I'd ever been before. 
So I'm putting a lot of gusto behind this when I say, I highly recommend you try the chunk and schedule method. The next time there's something big you want to do and you just can't, can't seem to find that big block of time that you wish you had to accomplish it. Thanks for joining me today for a long story and a quick productivity tip. Until next time, take care of yourself and stay creative. Thank you.